All right, I'm, I'm here with uh, Solomon from International uh, College of Aeronautics based in Nigeria. And they're here with uh, about how many students do you have? About five, five students right now. About five students, and they've been here for about five months. And how much longer do you have to go? A uh, we, we're going back next week for a break. Okay. And we'll be back next year. Okay. And they're here to, to build an airplane, get the experience of building an airplane. And it just happens to be at Zenith Aircraft uh, to do this build. And you're building a... We're building a CH 750. 750 Stoll. So we're standing actually next to the aircraft right here that they've been working on. And uh, Salma, can you tell me just a little bit about the program that's uh, at your, your school? Uh, I'm a flight instructor. I'm also an AMP. Uh, when I retired from the airline, I decided to go back to Nigeria to help out. Okay. When I got there, I realized there is no airplane to fly for these young guys. So I designed a curriculum around building an aircraft. Nice. So it's a four-year program. We call it a aircraft building engineering technology. Aircraft so building engineering technology. Okay. So these young guys, they learn. The first two years, they learn about how the, everything works. Okay. They learn all the basics. They do their ground school, private pilot, commercial instrument ground school in Nigeria. Nice. And then after that, they come here to build the aircraft. And they're going to be flying the aircraft they built. So our goal is just like Zenit said it, you dream it. You build it, you fly, fly it, yeah. and we go further. You fix it. Okay. So it's a way for them to create uh, employment opportunities for themselves because a, an unemployment rate is very high in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and uh, there's not that many job opportunities. So with this aircraft, now they can create a scenic uh, flight business, right? A tourism. They could use it for they could use it for sightseeing business, they could use it for tourism, they could use it for emergency rescue uh, business. Sure. They could even use it for surveillance, uh, get government contracts, they could use it for uh, what they call it search and rescue. They can even retrofit this aircraft for agricultural use. Nice. Wow. So, lots of options. Yeah, lots, lots of options. Those, and, those are the things we're thinking about. And how long has this uh, how long has this program been in effect in Nigeria? Uh, in Nigeria, it's yeah. been going. On, I've been working on this for the last eight years. Eighteen. Eight. Eight years. Eight, eight years. years. Okay. And previous to this, you said you were in the in the airlines, correct? Oh yes, I, I retired from United Airlines. I was a mechanic for United for 20 years. Wow! And, uh, and this is your this is your way of giving and back. I also run I ran a flight school in the Bay Area, to of San Francisco area. Okay. For about 17 years. So, it's so you've, my been, way. you've been in the industry for I've some time. I've been in the industry for some time. Awesome. So, and I've done a lot. So I've worked with the Tuskegee Airmen. I've worked with. Uh, really. Yeah. Wow. I designed a program for them which won an Emmy Award. So, and uh, we got a lot, of, you know, you see the picture, uh, one of the pictures we showed, actually, they are my students. Okay. They graduated from me, now they are captains for the airline. So, so this, is this going to be an ongoing thing? It's an going, ongoing thing. Is this, is this the first one here at Zenith? This, uh, is, the this, first, this is the first aircraft we're building. Okay. And you're going to replicate this program back home, essentially. Uh, most people don't believe this aircraft can be built. They never believe it can fly. Really? I'm going to show them this is going to fly. Because it's a kit? Or no, no, they just never saw it. Okay. They never saw it. So now we've done it. Now they're, gonna, now they're hearing about it. Now they're believing it can be done. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. That's exactly sure. what it's all about. And uh, we are so excited about what we've done. I mean, this is our first time doing this. And I'm sure the next one is going to be easier. But I want to make it an educational program okay. so that young people can learn how to do this. And hopefully they can help other people to build aircraft too and start making money for themselves. So I saw you have a website, the International College of Aeronautics. Yeah, our website is... Uh, www.aeronauticscollege.com Okay, and are you have, do you have updates posted on this? Every or will time. you with this program? We'll be doing that every time. You see pictures or a little bit of video yeah, of the students' see, yeah. progress. If you go to our website now, you see, you're going to see a lot of pictures of what we're doing. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, we, great we, idea, we great try program. to raise money at the same time. I mean, because uh, some of the people, young people we work with, 
I mean, they don't have the financial means to do this, but they are very sharp. Sure. They really want to do it. In grants and scholarships. So, so we set yeah. up a GoFundMe, you know, page. People want to help. So GoFundMe dot slash aviation students. Very good. And, uh, very good. Well, thanks for taking the time to explain about what you're doing over there. And do. I think it's Please, awesome what yes. you're doing and Thank getting you. everybody exposed to that over in Nigeria. Yes. Thank you. And that general, general aviation is what we're trying to promote. Absolutely. Because it's non-existent. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here as well. So again, okay. thanks, thanks for sharing that. You're welcome.